Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see infinite or lazy loading in Salesforce Lightning Web Component using Lightning Data Table. In Salesforce Lightning Web Component, we have Lightning Data Table. Using the Lightning Data Table, we can do infinite or lazy loading. The purpose of uh, <coughs> yeah, infinite loading is uh, when the page first loads, first it will display few set of records until the visitors uh, scrolls down then it will go and, dis and um, fetch the additional set of records if the visitor is uh, fine with the first set of records they will select those records and they will be uh, good with the next steps uh, if they wanted to uh, get more data they can scroll so that uh, uh, another call will be made and then the next set of records will be fetched uh, uh, so so this is uh, so so it, this will avoid the initial call with all the records that are getting pulled from the uh, database uh, for this demo i created a uh, apex class and a soql uh, in the soql i am using limit and offset for lo uh, for loading more records um, if the offset is zero then it will get the first five records next if the offset is um, uh, 5 it will get uh, from 6 to 10 records if it is 10 it will get uh, 10 to 15th 11th to 15th record so like that it will fetch additional set of uh, uh, records as we scroll down uh, and based on the offset we are passing so first when this method is called the offset will be 0 so it will get the first five records next it will be five so it will get next uh, set of five records so for, for the purpose of uh, infinite or lazy loading i am using limit and offset in my html i am using lightning data table uh, key field i am setting it to id data account records variable columns columns variable i am using show row number uh, set to true uh, infi enable infinite loading I am setting it to true or false based on this boolean variable is loading is also set to true or false based on the is loading uh, bool whenever the visitors scroll and if they need more data it will call this on load more method whenever the visitors selects the record uh, it will call on row selection method in the javascript i have declared my fetch accounts uh, uh, method from account list controller and uh, these are all the columns and these are all the variables i have declared uh, i am using uh, connected callback in the connected callback um, i have a console statement and uh, next time console.log statement and i'm use, i'm calling this dot on load more so this is the method i'm calling So initially, this uh, record size variable will be zero. So uh, the, in the console dot log statement, it will be zero. The offset is set to zero. Then it is fetching my accounts. The first set of five records are uh, uh, fetched. If the record size dot greater than zero, then it will append it to the existing uh, um, this dot account records variable. Else, that will be the result for the first time. It will directly get the five records in the next uh, um, uh, uh, scroll that is infinite scroll on load uh, action it will uh, go into this if uh, so that it will keep appending it to the account records variable um, if the if the result dot length is zero uh, it, if it is not greater than zero then i am setting uh, infinite uh, loading bool equal to false so every time when the loading is done i am uh, setting this dot loading uh, equal to false and uh, at the end uh, if there are any error i am catching it and uh, uh, through and uh, attach and uh, um, using json dot stringify i am converting that error into a string and then and, uh, assigning it to a error variable next uh, every time when this method is called i am I'm adding phi to the uh, record size so this will keep on adding the offset to me in order to test this 
I'm using lightning underscore underscore tab so that I can expose this as a tab. So this is my uh, lightning web component where I'm using infinite loading and uh, on row selection also I'm using. So first it fetched 10 records for me based on the height. So now I'm going to do infinite scrolling. It started fetching more records. It started fetching more records for me as I scroll down. Next, if I select a couple of records, it will call on row selection method and then it is displaying my on row selected. Even if you scroll down, you can you should be able to keep selecting the rows. Make sure the key um, field is set to an uh, unique identifier. Here, uh, for, mainly for on row selection, this key iPhone field should be mapped to a, a unique identifier in your payload. If you are using wrapper class, um, and if you are making any callouts, make sure you have some unique identifier so that you can map that to this uh, key field. So let's say you have uh, um, a list of uh, orders and if you have any order number which is going to be unique, then you, you can use that order number from the payload as the key field. It is not mandatory to use just ID as uh, key field. Here I'm using ID because from my payload that is a select ID comma name comma industry from account number I'm having ID as the key field here go, ID is going to be unique in my payload please check the video description uh, I have shared my blog post uh, from the blog post you should be able to get this sample code uh, use this uh, sample code as a reference and uh, adjust it as per your business uh, requirements I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.